Elizabeth Shaw, Registered Dietitian Nutritionist from Shaw Simple Swaps. This video is a collaboration with Beef. It's what's for dinner on behalf of the Beef Checkoff. I'm here today to chat about an important topic, iron in pregnancy. Iron is an important mineral that plays many roles in our body. Today we will take a closer look at those roles, specifically in regards to pregnancy and infant development. While discussing whole food sources of iron, you can incorporate in a balanced diet every day. Rest assured, at the end of this video, not only will you understand the important role iron plays within our body, but you'll have a few delicious recipes to get dinner on the table tonight. Iron has many functions within the body. It plays a pivotal role in carrying oxygen, muscle metabolism, and building healthy connective tissue. It's also crucial for neurological development, physical growth, and in the making of some hormones. Months prior to conception, the egg and sperm that will become the embryo are cells that the mature female and male reproductive systems produce. And the production of these cells requires energy and nutrients from foods in order to be created. For the mom, it is important to eat an energy appropriate and well-balanced diet so that she remains healthy. If her diet is deficient, the female body will shuttle her body stores that include many nutrients like fat, muscle, bone minerals, and ferritin to the baby. Her body will do its very best to get the baby what it needs. If iron remains under-consumed, iron deficiency anemia can result. This increases risk of preterm birth and low birth weight babies. As you may have guessed, iron needs will increase during pivotal growth periods in one's life, such as early infancy and pregnancy. This chart from the National Institutes of Health breaks down the current recommended dietary allowances, also known as the RDA, for iron based on age and gender. As you can see, iron needs substantially increase up to 11 milligrams a day during the seven to 12 month age group, as well as during pregnancy. Consuming 27 milligrams of iron a day in pregnancy is extremely important, as you have seen, for infant growth and development. If you're wondering why needs jump up to 18 milligrams per day in the age group between 19 and 50 years old, it's due to the menstrual cycle losses women experience in comparison to men. Let's take a deeper look now at how to meet your daily iron needs based on whole food sources. Before we jump into meeting your iron needs, we need to rewind a second. There are two sources of iron you can get from food, hemi iron and non-hemi iron sources. Hemi iron is more readily absorbed by the body and can be found in your animal proteins from foods like beef, lamb, pork, chicken, turkey, and seafood. Non-hemi iron is the plant-based form of iron that is not as easily absorbed by the body and can compete with other nutrients for absorption. Some of the highest plant-based sources of iron include white beans, lentils, spinach, tofu, and broccoli. While both hemi and non-hemi iron sources are great additions to a balanced diet, the animal sources that contain the hemi iron are better absorbed. Pairing hemi and non-hemi iron sources together. Think beef and broccoli, is also another great way to increase consumption of both hemi and non-hemi iron sources while increasing your consumption of veggie-centered foods that we often don't eat enough of. A win-win for us all. All right, let's talk about putting this into practice to increase iron consumption in your diet using beef. Beef is what we call a foundational food meaning that it nourishes and optimizes health at every life stage. Beef is filled with nutrients, such as high quality protein, choline, iron, zinc, and many B vitamins. In just a three ounce cooked portion, beef delivers 51% of the daily value of protein, 39% of the daily value of zinc, 14% of iron, 14% of riboflavin, 
25% of niacin, 24% of vitamin B6, 41% of vitamin B12, and 13% of choline. No other protein delivers the same nutrient-rich package that beef does in the same three ounce cook portion for only 170 calories. There is high quality scientific evidence that beef at current levels consumed helps offset nutrient shortfalls and serves as an integral part of healthy diets. Let me fill you in on how I use lean beef in the Shaw kitchen to make meals come together in no time. If the idea of pulling out the barbecue to grill up a steak sounds so far-fetched, don't worry. Some of these ideas come together in under an hour. One of my best swaps is cooking once eating all week rather than being a short order cook. Using a cut of meat, like a brisket or a round roast, is an easy and convenient way to get a good source of iron in by placing it in your pressure cooker. Saving time and sanity is always a win-win in my book. Once you have the cooked meat, you can easily prepare a few different meals with either cut. Some of our regular menu choices are tacos with mushrooms, avocado, cabbage, and fresh tomatoes. Or I'll throw together a simple loaded salad with thinly sliced brisket. A more traditional option that I'll serve on occasion is with a cooked vegetable and a side of potatoes. All can be part of a balanced, healthy meal plan. Now, you can certainly add beef as one of the first foods into an infant's diet when they are developmentally ready as a great way to help meet their iron needs, especially in that seven to 12 month age range. I highly recommend the book, Born to Eat, for an excellent introduction into including beef in your child's diet. While infants won't actually be able to swallow the meat, by sucking and gnawing on the beef strip, they are able to consume many important nutrients to help with the growth and development. Cut beef into thin strips so your child can easily pick them up and suck on them. As your child develops their feeding skills and grows in age, you will eventually be able to serve them appropriate sizes of beef as well, like the simple beef taco plate I made for my toddler. Feeding and nourishing a growing and developing body and baby is a hard job. Focusing on the small things that can be implemented in a balanced lifestyle are what's most important, like adding in more iron sources for both mom and baby. For more information and resources on iron and nutrient-rich beef, be sure to read the full blog post on Shaw Simple Swaps, link below, and visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for more delicious recipes and cutting-edge research. Thanks so much for joining us today. Be sure to subscribe to my newsletter to get more science-based info delivered straight to your inbox. Have a wonderful day.